Hello friends, my name is Renite, and welcome to a game called Legends of Runeterra. If you know me, you know that I play League of Legends, and well, they made a card game, and we know that I like card games, so yeah. It doesn't say anywhere on here, unfortunately, but um, just kind of show you guys around. We're going to play a versus AI game with this uh, Trindamir deck I've edited. Um, it's got, whoops, so we've got a whole bunch of cards here, and you'll all get to see what they do while we're in game. So, most of them are pretty... Uh, pretty straightforward if you've played it's like a cross between Yu-Gi-Oh and um, Magic the Gathering is the best way I could uh, get it understood so yeah we've got a lot of cards here so it's mostly just the normal um, deck with a couple of things changed out and this is currently in free-to-play beta so yeah of course it's league of legends of course it's free to play so let's go back and we're just gonna actually just gonna play <clears throat> a versus ai game all right so this is actually a pretty good first hand so you can click on these cards and you can see what the extra stuff does so tough is pretty cool. And then she doesn't have anything special, but her power to and her health is two. And that's what that means. So I'm actually going to keep this hand. I like this hand. Thank you. Ooh, I like that one too. So we're gonna actually play that one before we play Cythria. And the AIs are pretty stupid. So fighting them is going to be really easy. So you just press forward to attack. And this little thing here is called an attack token. But you can barely see because my big ass face is covering it. And the attack token, you get one, one turn and then they get it the other turn and then vice versa. So you can only attack every other turn. So they've just played this, which summoned an extra spiderling. Um, and I am going to play this guy because they might attack. And I don't want to lose this guy. Yep. Okay. So, because he has tough, he takes one less damage. But you can see their power is two and my defense is two. So normally that would kill me. But, I'm going to block with him. And he's going to kill the health spider. And I'm going to go ahead and block with this guy too so I can kill the spiderling. Because power is one and their health is one. Man, I can't do anything else. This is my mana bar, so I have to use this to play it, and I get one extra every turn. If I have any left over, up to three, I get extra spell mana to play spells, which we might get one so I can show you what that is. Which, nope, not yet. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play this Vanguard Defender, and then... Because we already have one of them there. We know what he does. She's going to play. We take turns playing cards, by the way. Oh, fuck. Okay. So this is a champion. And champions are pretty legit. They get to level up. Let me show you. So they get to level up. And their level up, um, what they have to do to level up is right here. And leveling up, they usually get extra health and extra... Um, extra attack and usually different uh, abilities so this is what she levels up to all other spider allies have challenger and fearsome challenger means that they when they attack they get to choose who blocks them and fearsome um, fearsome is they can only be blocked with enemies at three more power which is kind of ridiculous um, I don't know what that's for I've never seen it play that. But this is the spiderling that she summons, which is the normal 1-1. One, one. And to level up, she has to have at least three or more spiders. So I can actually attack this round. But she is going to kill me. Um, with Well, she might not kill me with this Elise, but she'll probably kill Cythria. I don't know. Let's try it. AI is usually pretty stupid, so we'll see how this goes. 
That's kind of why I expected it to happen. She's gonna kill Cythria. So that guy that just died um, had an ability called Last Breath. It means when he dies, this action happens. His last breath was to summon a spiderling, so now she's got one spiderling on the field, uh, two more, and she gets to level up. And only champions can level up. So this guy's pretty cool. When he's summoned, he gets 1 1 for each ally that died, and oh god. When I'm summoned, give other allied spiders plus 1 plus 0 and enemies 1 minus 0 this round. Minus 1 minus 0 this round. So I get 1 less power and they get plus 1 power, which they have the attack token, so that sucks ass. But what I can do is. Does anyone have Challenger? No, you have Fearsome though. So I could heal this ally or I could play Lawrence and give this guy plus two plus two. And they're gonna attack. And I am actually going to defend with this guy. And you can defend against this guy. And this guy can defend against this guy because he won't actually take that damage. So I'll still take two damage, unfortunately. Oh fuck, what are you gonna do now? Oh, that's just rude. I know I should have blocked with that, with my tough. Oh well. At least it's dead, that's what matters. So, there's a button to auto pass, but I don't want to pass. When uh, you can't do any actions, but I like to look at the board for a second. So, I can't summon him yet. We are going to. Hmm, do I want to play Laurent? I want to play. I think I want to play Laurent in the next turn. Play the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Because he has challengers, so he can choose who blocks him. <clears throat> Which I think it's gonna be this guy. I think I'm gonna sack. Well, and to use the challenger, these little things come up when they can block. Um, sometimes there's uh, things that can't block, but I just drag them to the field, and now that guy's blocking me. So, boop and boop, and neither of these guys will die from the guys that are here. And if I attack, they can't do anything but play uh, burst or fast spells. Which I'm hoping I get one so I can show you what that is. Um, but they can't summon anything to help them walk or anything like that. And she's leaving herself with one uh, attack or defender. Ooh, Alpha Wild Claw. All right, now it's my turn. I don't want to summon this guy yet because not a whole lot of people have died. Um, what is this guy's normal? Can I look at what your normal health is? Oh, whoops. Uh, four. So I can use this to heal him. But now they get a uh, time to do things. So, I'm going to block with, well, no, nope. actually I'm going to block with this guy and this guy because I won't take any damage, as long as they don't have a burst spell. Alright, I can't do anything else, so see it's chance bringing the spell, um, spell mana, which are these three. Ah, there we go, see, okay, so this is a burst spell. And burst spells um, do stuff before the enemy can react to it. So I can use this, and then I use it immediately. And then I can use other stuff. Well, I can use other burst spells, but the enemy can't react to it because it's a burst. It's like, boop, and it's done. Whereas there's fast spells, which can be played um, 
And fast spells I can use, but the enemy gets time to react to it and do something themselves. And then there's slow spells, which can't be used um, when something else is happening. I can only use it on my turn when something else isn't happening. So this is pretty cool to have. Um, and I have extra spell mana, so it comes out of this instead of my normal mana. Which we are going to actually play uh, Cythria the Bold because she's a 6-6 that gives uh, battling allies plus one, plus one, and fearsome. And fearsome means they cannot be blocked by enemies with three less power. But it didn't matter because they're going to stun me. Which totally sucks, but it's fine. Well, I'm not gonna use my challenger because I don't really care. And I'm hoping yeah, that they'll block the stupid thing. Because AIs are stupid. Oh, and stun. Uh, stun means that they can't do any actions. And this Paro has Fearsome now, which I can block with most of my things, so I'm not too worried about it. This is pretty cool. I used this during um, another fight and totally dominated because it was cool. Because um, if they would have hit me at all, it would have sucked. Um, I could only use power three or more. I'm going to use this guy because he won't take any damage because he's got tough. And they only have one. And of course, they're going to drain three for me. Um, which is going to kill me. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I can't really do anything. So we're just gonna leave it be. I mean, I could do this and go kill it, but whatever. And I'm gonna go ahead and summon out the Wild Claw. Overwhelm is pretty cool. Um, any damage that isn't done to the other unit is done straight to their Nexus. I'm gonna go ahead and end round. And I get the attack token now. And they're about to die. Ooh. Anti damage ally plus three plus three is pretty legit. Um, so I can play this and that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Oh, also, um, this is gonna get plus four plus four because I've had four uh, allies die. I'm gonna do this. Now they'll have time to react, which is totally fine. Which, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna do this and on him. And, okay. Whatever. And I'm gonna go ahead and attack with everything because they can only block a couple things. Oh, I can't probably uh, attack with that. So go ahead and attack. You're draining four from your own unit for what? Oh, because draining uh, heals. So I could have gave it this, but it wouldn't really matter. All right, you got two cards to play. What you got? Okay, so Lonely Poro is pretty cool. When I'm summoned, create in hand a one cost power from a new region. However, I have six units, which is all I can have. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass. But you don't have Challenger, so I'm going to go ahead and block with this guy because you won't kill him. You got anything else you want to do? No? Okay. The AIs are pretty dumb in this game. They're not like horribly dumb, but they're pretty dumb. And Enlightened is if you have uh, 10 max mana, then they get this ability, whatever's here. And it also has Everwhelm, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and attack. 
And just because I can, I am going to be excessive as hell and give you plus one plus one. <clears throat> and kick your ass. And there we are. And that's uh, a mission that I've done now uh, with, with Zed or Trindamir in my deck. Which I have to get one with uh, Jinx too. So we'll play with uh, Jinx so you can see her. I haven't played with that deck very much, so I'm not really 100% sure what's in that deck. But I want to get... Uh, I want to get my rewards. Oh, I don't want the Masia rewards. Oh. I want Freyord rewards. I want Ash. Why did you change me back to Demacia? Rude. Alright. So, I don't really know too much about this deck. Um, aside from it's got a lot of stuff in it that I am just kind of like, yeah, okay, this is pretty cool. Um, so, we're just going to play with it and see how it goes. Mm, Draven. Oh man, I could have played with this deck and gotten both. Dang it. Oh well. Mm, I don't have anything I can summon uh, this turn. But I can do it next turn. And because I have the attack token this round, I can use it next round. All right, let's just do this. Maybe I'll get a one. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and pass for this round. Don't worry, I've read all about this. Is it a grilled cheese? No, thank you. All right. I found my books. Hope that's all right. We are going to play you and elusive is pretty cool they can't uh they can only be blocked by different things with elusive uh oh they have challenger that's frustrating so much for this uh what's the one okay Ooh. Well, this one, um, when I summon it, it refills two mana, so I can play it and then play something else, which is really cool. I'm on it. Or two oh, spell mana. Which is this. Excuse me. No. Um, I can deal two to anything, so I'm going to go ahead and deal two to her. Which I can also deal it straight to the axis, but I want to kill her. And I am not going to attack because I will just die. So in round. My money, my fool. <laughs> A foray into the field? How exciting! All right. Um. To play, spend all my mana and deal that much to units. Just a little excessive. So I'm going to go ahead and play Jinx. Jinx has quick attack, which means she strikes before they strike, which is really cool. So I can do this and she won't die, supposedly. What? Quick attack only works when I'm attacking. Well, see, I'm learning things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just <laughs> Oh well. That's like <sighs> So, I'm gonna play her first, 
So whenever I draw a card, I get plus one plus zero. They can play a card now. This one, when it's discarded, it gets summoned, which is pretty ridiculous, but all right. So, whatever. Um, I can draw one to give her plus one plus zero. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on attacking. They'll just murder me. So, pass. I don't really like this deck very much. Happy to do whatever's needed. <clears throat> I learned that in class. Hmm. I could play this guy, but he would only grant stuff there, and I really want him to kill him. So I'm gonna summon this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and take the 6 damage. Alright. Um, Alright. <sighs> Let's see. So we're going to do this. And we're gonna use it on them. Now they can react. And then I'm going to play this. Today you are king. And now I'm gonna attack with everything. And I guess they'll just do what they can. Thing is, unlike Yu Gi Oh, when you attack things, you know, it doesn't. Oh, shit. It doesn't, um. deal it straight to your health, because that would be ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I have the attack token, that's annoying. Okay. Are you stunning me? Spitting axe is so annoying. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy and use it next turn. Alright. Alright. So let's do this. She levels up now. Which, I don't know what she does. First time you empty your hand each round, create a fleeting super mega death rocket in hand. Cool. So we're just gonna go ahead and... I got two health left. I'm gonna go ahead and end round. Now it's a party. All right. Um. Go ahead and just play. 
value. It didn't really matter. I can't really do anything with what I've got. I'm just gonna hang around. I get the attack token. Ooh. Uh, just gonna attack. You're gonna die. And they can't react to it unless they have something they can stun. What are you gonna do? What do you got here? Scrap settler. Alright. And then you're gonna kill that thing. I'm gonna play this. I give an ally plus three plus zero this turn. Ooh, I can't target it. Oh, okay. It wanted me to choose, which now you can't kill a unit with three or less power. Because it doesn't have three or less power, so you just go away. Which is still excessive as hell. I could have just, you know, killed them, but I like when we kill. <sighs> and now I get my other roll. Right? I get my quest too. Alright, so it wants me to do Demacia. That's annoying. I wanted the Frail Lord. But I guess I'll do Demacia and then the Frail Lord. Um, what are my missions? I did this already. What the hell? Okay, whatever. So yeah, this is Legends of Runeterra. It's a pretty interesting card game um, that I've started playing, and I really like it. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Learn how to sign out.